Hello everyone, Sean here once again, and we're back with another special puzzle. This is one that's been in the uh, on the list in the backlogs that we've been looking to play eventually. Uh, this is Crosswordle, and so uh, basically a reverse Wordle. You're trying to reverse engineer a Wordle puzzle. Um, this looks like a lot of fun. Definitely interested in getting into this one. Um, as always, if you want to do this puzzle yourself before seeing the answer here, feel free to pause the video and go to Crosswordle. Dot Vercel dot app. Uh, that link is in the video description below. If you like this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. But for now, let's get into today's puzzle. So, we have Vaunt. I think we can very easily come down here and fill in these ones. These have to be the same as those. Now, this is a puzzle played on hard mode. So, if you have a yellow, you must use the yellow in subsequent guesses and can't use it in the same spot. I believe you cannot use it in the same spot. Um, let's double check the rules here. It walks you through how to do those. So, uh, once you use a letter that exists, you have to continue using it. Similarly, but once you use a letter that doesn't exist, you cannot use it anymore. Some tiles so far have included a little triangle in their top right corner. This is how we indicate errors in the current solution. So the solution is the entire grid. It's not just the bottom row. Um, so I want to test here just to see if we use an A here. Can we also use an A here? We cannot. Okay, show error details. Error on row for this letter has already been attempted in this position. So if we have a yellow here, that doesn't go there. We also we cannot also use it below. So uh, getting back to this, we know that we have to use um, that we have to have these three. So we can't have any letters here that aren't used down below. And if these were in the puzzle, then they must be the U and the N. So I want to try and do this here. And a word that I'm seeing right away is unlit. Now, I would also, so these, this would really help us here if one of these was a T. Um, I'm already seeing a, what I'm thinking is going to be really helpful as we move forward is doing as many um, doubles as possible. As we're doing these. So if I can include two T's here, for example, oh, we can't have a T there, but let's say we can test this. What is wrong with testing two T's? Too many occurrences of this letter in this row. I'm not understanding why that should cause a problem. Oh, because we can't, there's no not two T's in the final puzzle, so there wouldn't have been that there. Okay, makes sense. Uh, now, if somehow we can use extra T's, or let's do the word two twos. Okay, that's going to cause us an error because on the double, these are both going to be wrong and would be yellow, but the first one would be yellow because there's only one in the final puzzle, not the second one. So let's delete that. We're going to have, this would be helpful if, if uh, let's see, you can have an N here. I guess it really doesn't matter. N, U, or T, as long as they're different, would go there. We could even do a second, could we do a second T here? No, because that would be incorrect. That's right, we've already discussed this. But we could do it, we can't do it there. Right, going over the same things I've already learned about. Can't be an N there because that would be green in that instance. So, if we had a word like north, that would fit very well. Um, what can go here? This would be awesome if we did the word stunt. That way we're reusing that T. 
All right, now we just have to make two words up here that don't use any of the, the rest of the letters. So, we still have use of, we have I, O, U, A. We haven't used the E yet. So, the word peppy is going to be very useful here. Although I feel like that might back us into a corner because we do need at least one vowel in the next puzzle. And we don't have access to one. So as soon as I type any vowel, yeah. So I want to use I want to use the word can I use the word crypt? No. I won't be able to. Because of that P and the T. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit tricky as we get here to the end. Um, so let's do, let's do a word that only uses the E. I want to do something that uses the least amount of letters possible, basically like the worst first word will guess possible. Um, how about the word wedded? That's not a real word. Um, it has to have two Ds for the word wedded. Uh, dude, there we go. Then, if we can just come up with a word here. How about this? Let's go down here and use the word uncut. That way we are using the U twice. It stays valid because the first, the first one is the one that gets the yellow. That way we still have access to the I, and we can use the word... Billy, congrats, you solved it. Very fun. It's kind of tricky. Yeah, there's a few times going over just making sure. It's sort of re weird reverse engineering where the yellows go out of your previous guesses. But yeah, it's, it's very helpful to um, have early guesses that just are awful guesses. Something like Fuffy would be really good at the beginning there. Um, not using any of our original uh, letters, except for the fact that we're going to have an, a U in the final puzzle. So, um, very interesting. Very interesting uh, format, I guess. And a, a very, once you know the, the words of the rules of Wordle very well, it's, it's a really good challenge to, uh, to get you to think in a, in a reverse engineering way. Um, I, I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. I don't know if I would play it every day, but good to jump in here and, and sort of test the logic behind this. So, um, very interesting. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone who you think would enjoy some daily word puzzles. That's all for now, and we will see you all tomorrow.